All right, here's a look at my Soundwave collection. It's a very humble collection. I only have three sets, actually. I have the G1 Soundwave with his minions, the Siege Soundwave, again with his minions, and the Earthrise, or Netflix exclusive, uh, Soundwave, and together with his minions. Soundwave has always been my favorite all-time all-time favorite Decepticon. I don't know why. When I was a kid, I loved the guy. He, he had a chest that would open up and all the minions would just pop out. Pop out. He was like a one-man army all on his own and he was in charge of communications. He was very loyal to Megatron. I, I just liked this Decepticon. He was very quiet. It's really the quiet ones that you got to watch out for. And if you watch Transformers Prime... He was a very quiet character, but he was very, very deadly uh, on the show. So with that, I want to show off these characters very briefly. Let's start uh, with the G1 Soundwave. So G1 Soundwave, for those of you who are unaware of what this is, you're probably too young to actually have lived through this. If you know what this is, then you're probably my age and uh, <laughs> or older, you know. And you lived through a wonderful time uh, as a kid. So this is a cassette tape recorder. Now, what's a cassette tape? And you probably have seen these. And if you're wondering what it is, it's, uh, it looks something like this. It's an analog metallic tape. And there's two sides. You can record sound on one side. And then you flip it, you can record on the other side. And it's a magnetic tape which the way you listen to it is you get something like this or like this a bigger version of this this is this is called a walkman or a cassette tape a music player and essentially hold on there is a uh, there is a magnetic head uh, reader right there i don't know if you can see it but uh, that head essentially reads what's inside this, this magnetic tape. So you, you plug in a tape like that and you play it and it should play some music. You got the headphones on here and if the device has a speaker, it should play. Now some of these devices like this one, apparently, or as it were, had a, a recording mode when you could literally record stuff. You could have a mic, an external mic or a, the mic built in, you could record that sound and then you could play back that sound. Okay, that's what a cassette tape is. And this is what a cassette tape player is. If you want to know more about these OG technology, I will be doing a separate video on the kind of technology I grew up with, kind of music technology. If you want to know what these things are, I, do, I will have a separate video for those. So do, do stay tuned for that one. So back to G1 Soundwave. These are the cassette tapes and you put them there and then, yeah. So you'd be like a cassette tape player and the, you hold, there's a hold button and the, you know, pause button. And then uh, you should play and record just like how I demonstrated. And this is the volume control. Headphones, I suppose, are here. And then record, and it says record and stop. Okay, that's essentially what a cassette tape recorder is. Now to transform him. These are supposedly the batteries, the battery compartment. Uh, you would put some double A batteries. <laughs> the, these things would transform into double A batteries and this would be like a belt clip. So you could clip the thing on your, on your waist. And then batteries. Okay. G1 Sonic came with a buzz saw, which I'll transform him later. So to transform this guy, let's put this back on. Okay, first thing you wanna do, the legs, you want to pop them out like this. I'm being careful because this is a reissue. I don't want to ruin the toy. <laughs> it's so hard to get G1 figures nowadays that are in good condition. And pop off the feet like that. Hands. And finally the head. Transformers were a lot of fun back in the day. Com uh, transformation wasn't as complex as what you would have nowadays. And they did have die cast and plastic parts. The shoulders are die cast. The feet obviously are die cast. The hips are die cast. So there's a lot more sturdiness uh, with the toy back in the day. And it would take time before they'd really break apart and 
Yeah. Now the batteries, they do transform into his weapons. This one is his shoulder mounted cannon. And this one, I guess is his gun. Okay, pull that back right there. And then you'd load the missile like this. Okay, and then pop it in like that. And that is Soundwave. Now Buzzsaw. Yeah, Buzzsaw transformed like laser beak. So transform him like this. Again, mix of die cast and plastic. And then his uh this would be the engines or the boosters, the weapons done in chrome. I mean, they were so cool back in the day. Okay, like that. And he'd be like a condor. Okay. And then the other minions um, would uh, be like the cassettes as well. Laserbeak is like Buzzsaw, so let's transform him quickly. Laser Big, I think, is the more popular one, obviously, even back in the day, because he was heavily featured on the cartoon. So yeah, it's Laser Big and Buzzsaw. And then we have, uh, we have Frenzy. But on the show, the blue one was called Rumble. They kind of swapped the names, and I don't know why. But the toy, blue one was Frenzy, red one was Rumble. Right there, I'm gonna show that off later. So, these were actually pretty cool. They transformed into humanoid robots, a robot form like that. Not a lot of articulation. They didn't have the pile drivers that that caused the earthquakes, but uh, yeah, and they could hold the weapons like this. I think it looks best with the weapons on the back like that. On to the two other cassettes. This one's actually my favorite, Ravage. And Ravage was the Jaguar, the Scout, just like Laserbeak. Those two were the most popular minions of Soundwave, and then Frenzy and Rumble. Put these off, so, like that. so let's do Rumble, or Frenzy, whatever you wanna call it. And realize the head had that automorph technology. Same thing with Rumble. Pop those weapons there. Those are pretty cool. And then Ravage. Ravage would and he'd be like a Jaguar. Just like that. Pretty cool, huh? I mean, t toys back in the day were pretty cool. I remember one of my buddies in, when I was in grade school brought along Ravage. I was so jealous. I was so envious of, of him getting this and Soundwave. I wanted it. I never had it as a kid because it was just so darn difficult to acquire these things. So, very cool. That was G1 Soundwave. And everything else is an iteration of this guy. And he's he's come across as uh, other variant forms of transformation or alt modes because not a lot of people could relate to the uh, Walkman. So he's, be he's a SUV, he's become a van, a Mercedes Benz. Uh, he's, uh, he's become a satellite, he's become a drone. And this is the Siege Soundwave. He uses like a Cybertronian ship, which really sucks. I mean, <laughs> what the hell is this? If you want to be technical about it, back on Cybertron, uh, Soundwave transformed into a lamppost or a listening station, I should say. And there's actually a way to turn this into, into that. So you can keep the legs like this and then the arms. Wait, let's pop these things out. Okay, pop the torso back on like this. Pop these things back down like that, okay? And then what he did in the cartoon, he was just like, and then he, he would become like a lamppost like that. Tuck his head in, feet together, and then the arms would just go out like that. And you could obviously do a cleaner version like this. This is just fold up everything and he'd be like a, a listening post. And then Wheeljack and Bumblebee would ride past him. And there is Soundwave in his Cybertronian robot mode. And finally on to my last Soundwave. This is the Netflix War for Cybertron Earthrise Soundwave. 
And as you can see, he closely resembles the G1 Soundwave in terms of his alt mode. And even he's got that spring-loaded cassette eject gimmick. So he's got Ravage and Laser Beat together with him, which are repaints of that. You have done reviews of those, so go check them out. No space for batteries, though, for this one. So this is what we're doing. Okay, so transform him. Oh, I'm sorry. Just pop this off like this. Okay, these that that. Pop the feet out. Like that. Okay. Okay. Just unpeg these. Open the head. Okay. There you go. Rotate this. And then take the feet. Okay. Okay. There you go. This is the closest one we've gotten ever to a G1 Soundwave. Very similar in aesthetic to the G1 Soundwave, and yet given him a uh, more modern uh, update, updated look with better articulation, better proportions, and all that. It's great that uh, after 35 years, going on 40 years, Transformers have just evolved and is now not just for the kids who grew up in the 80s and 90s, it's now for everybody. So that's it. That's my collection. Just a couple more things I wanted to discuss before we finish this video. We've got this one. This came with the weaponizer pack from the Centurion drone, Generation Select Centurion drone. This is actually a scaled alt mode version of Soundwave when he shifts his mass and it becomes a smaller cassette tape recorder. And then I also have this. I'd forgotten to talk about this. Um, this is a knockoff of a masterpiece Rat Bat. I never had the Sound Blaster masterpiece. And cassette tapes actually came in this kind of container. If you notice, just a bigger version to fit an actual cassette tape. So actually these masterpiece figures, they're supposed to be able to fit in the G1 Soundwave. Uh huh, interesting. That they can actually do this can they actually oh wow that is cool transform it very quickly let's do it this way this way gotta make that sound otherwise it doesn't transform properly <laughs> i'm kidding i mean for a knockoff this is actually pretty good it's a nice rendition of rat bat so yeah So there you have it, folks. That is my collection of Soundwave figures and his minions over the years, G1, Siege, and Earthrise version. Let me know in the comment section what you think of my collection. Is this something you think is worth keeping? Should I just get rid of them, pass them on to another collector? Hit me up in the comments, and as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. If you want to help the channel out, please check out my Patreon account. There's a link in the description box below. Before we go, just one thing. Why do you... <laughs> I've seen memes of this image, like a cassette tape and a pencil. Anybody know what, <laughs> why these two are always together? If you want to know the answer, you'll have to watch my other video, which I mentioned earlier about the OG technology that I grew up with. There you go. Thanks for watching.